Some of my very favorite episodes to do come straight from you guys. Follow me on Twitter to suggest what episodes I should do today. And today I am tackling the topic that's maybe suggested to me the very most. How strong is One Punch Man? Well, I think I know how strong he is, but more importantly, I think I figured out how strong he could possibly be. One Punch! One Punch Man took an interesting path to anime. Well, first it was a webcomic, and then a manga, and then it went to series. The protagonist, Saitama, is basically the strongest being in the universe, able to defeat any opponent with just one punch. The character is a satire of sorts, and I think that's why we love it, but if you're the strongest hero ever, how strong is that? Every explanation that I have seen bases Saitama's powers off of this anime intro, specifically that his fist is going so fast that it can heat up the air around it like a space shuttle re-entering Earth's orbit. Kind of like this. Or like this. I have a new editor. I'm just testing him. Anyway, these explanations also mistake force for energy and use blue shifting and red shifting when I think it's not really acceptable. So let's abandon this reference point and look to what we can actually see happening in the anime to find the true limit of Saitama's strength. First, a direct speed comparison. In a fight with one of his strongest foes, Lord Boros, he gets punted to the moon. And then after checking out how cool reduced gravity is, he jumps back. If the moon is 384,000 kilometers away and the time between Saitama's jump and his landing, at least in the anime, is around nine seconds, that means he has to move at least as fast as 43,000 kilometers per second. That's 14% the speed of light. Astrophysicist Ethan Siegel, who helped me a lot on this episode, also estimates that based on Saitama's mass and size, he would be pulling trillions of Gs and putting trillions of atmospheres worth of pressure onto the moon's surface. At least that explains this scene. It's science! Saitama only gets more impressive from here. Abrupt fire punch! Nice. That's how fast Saitama can be, but how strong is he? Or rather, how much force can one of his punches provide? In this scene, OPM stops a meteor with just one punch. But to do this physics-wise, he would have to dissipate all the kinetic energy of that meteor over the distance of his fist. Kind of like what happens when a car crumples around a tree. If the meteor is a city killer, let's assume it to be a cube-ish thing with 60 meters on each side, the density of rock and a velocity of 17 kilometers per second. If all, if all the kinetic energy wrapped up in this meteor comes to a stop within maybe half a fist's distance or three centimeters, then the average amount of force that a one punch man punch can pack is three quintillion newtons. That's a big, big number, but maybe it's easier to understand if you think of it like 90 five, billion four, Saturn V three, rockets taking two, off from your face. Woo. That may be how strong Saitama is, but we've never seen his full potential. What is the real physical limit of his strength? The strongest a punch from One Punch Man could possibly be is one not that destroys every foe, but every thing. I asked Ethan Siegel about this too, and there is a punch so serious that it could restart the universe. The universe as we know it only exists because it's period of inflation, or the instant where the universe went from almost nothing to, well, everything stopped. If we could somehow restart inflation, then the universe would begin to push itself apart again to the point that even atoms would rip. What kind of punch would that take? One where every particle in Saitama's fist has the energy to create inflation-related particles, like some hypothetical giant atom smasher, and thus restart cosmic inflation. So if you estimate the number of particles in Saitama's fist and give them all a physicist recommended 10 to the 32 giga electron volts, then one universe-destroying punch would have the energy of a thousand gamma ray bursts. 
some of the most energetic events in the universe or all the energy from all the th all the thermal energy from all the particles in the sun in just your hand in just one fist so the strongest Saitama could possibly be the punch wouldn't look like this it would look something like this oh oh no that is the ultimate limit of a one punch man punch granted these energies are so big that we don't know if the laws of physics break when you get to them. Although, the laws of physics are already broken in anime, so I think we're okay. Plus, the real strength of Saitama doesn't come from physics, it comes from satire. As long as there are beefy superheroes spouting exposition to each other, Saitama is gonna be there and stronger than them. So, by definition, he's already stronger than Superman and the Incredible Hulk, because science fiction writing. Thank you so much for watching. At the Death Dragon asks, could a normal human survive a single punch from the Hulk? Well, look at this one clip from Mythbusters real quick. Socks or the feet? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what would happen to you and, uh, you're dead. Checkmate. Ha 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 